am here in Lisbon, Portugal, where yesterday I gave the opening keynote at the Food of the Future Conference and Food and Nutrition Awards. And here I am in LX Factory, which is an old industrial area which has been converted to a hyper-trendy area full of startups, creative businesses, and restaurants. So my theme really was around food at both the center of the history and the future of humanity. And there's many, many key issues around this. And these include, of course, that there's, uh, we need to be able to have the food production and distribution to be able to feed two billion more people on the planet sustainably, which is obviously not the case today, and to reduce the extraordinary amount of food waste that we have today. But if we look at food at the center of our identities, I mean, the key thing is this increasing polarization, as in many other aspects of our society, where there is a divide between those who have food as something which is you know, really healthy, which is the heart of their lives, where it's eating better than ever before, where they are highly discerning, have access to organic, high-quality food, and have that attention and awareness in how they eat, and becoming healthier all the time. But at the same time, we have many people who are you know, living off junk food and becoming more obese. In fact, in the United States, after two centuries of uh, increasing life expectancy, we're seeing that reduced significantly because of increasing obesity. So this, clearly there's an enormous amount we need to do in order to be able to change behaviors change eating behaviors and this from governments and companies, individuals being able to I suppose make it easier and easier to eat healthy food rather than to eat unhealthy food. However, we won't eat well unless that really is central to our identity, how it is we feel about ourselves. We need to have this alignment with how we feel and who we are around who we want to be. And in a way that's the only thing which will drive us to be able to eat healthier and to look for the alternatives as they, uh, as they are available. So if we think about food at the center of our human future, a key part of that is essentially to be able to build greater alignment, which shifts behaviors that we have towards being able to both produce, and distribute, and to consume the food which will make us more and more able to tap our human potential. So whichever way it goes, it's absolutely true that food has not only been central to our past, but will absolutely be central to our human future.